All right, the Mechanicus continues. We're slowly but steadily getting our territory in place. Uh, we just need a little bit more. Um, currently at five influence. That's pretty damn good. So what we're going to do here is uh, we are already building a outpost in this position so we can block off these guys from uh, getting into this part of the galaxy, which is exactly what we want. Also, there is a size 23 continental world here that was just like, yo, hey, hey, hey. Come colonize me. And I was like, yo, hey, hey, I swipe right on you. I, I will colonize you. So there we go. Well, not so much instantly colonize them. First, we're going to need to go on like a date and like, talk about each other's interests, maybe go for a movie, thinking about like maybe the new Guardians of the Galaxy. If you're watching this video in the future, like the Guardians of the Galaxy 2, that was a terrible movie or it was a great movie. That was a good choice. Yeah, I know. And uh, yes, I'm aware that I'm talking to myself in the third person, which is not always the greatest thing to do. Long story short, we're going to colonize this shit and uh, be done with it. But that's uh, something that is coming up in the near future. Got a color, color construction ship ready to go. Uh, we got a bunch of ruby stacks in here. How big are these guys? There are 200. Oh, they got a alliance fleet as well. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Uh, I think we're already colonizing this because a colony ship is already being popped out as we speak. Unless, of course, we're going to go down here, but it's a size 13, so it's not particularly interesting. Anyway, let's take a look at our expansion planner. Oh, look at this. Exceptional minerals. Where is this? Hold on. Yeah, you can wait. Hold on. Oh, we got we got two talking to us right now. Um, all right, we'll talk to you guys first. Hello, warriors. Yeah, you're peaceful traders. That's cool. And uh, they are fanatic authorian as well as materialists. So, okay, that's cool. Anyway, uh, with that out of the way, let's go have a chat with uh, this planet over here because I am really curious on where it is. Don't be in that territory. Is it this one? It can't be. Where is it? Really? Expansion planner. CO3. Where is CO? Oh, god damn it. It's in here. All right, cool. It's because I had this tagged on. Right, that is the thing. Uh, it's new in Utopia. A little button at the bottom there, which basically... Oh, man. That means that they've got, like, all the space to expand into. Plus, they've got... Uh, what is it? They're arid, so they probably won't be able to expand into a uh, tropical world but that planet over there mm, that is that is quite something exceptional mineral quality surface is pretty yeah pretty trash actually come to think of it Let's take a look at my ascension perks technological ascendancy that's pretty straight complete. forward all right let's take a look at our factions so we got a technological faction we got plus three because they're super happy with us which is exactly what we want cool all right, all these are maxed out in terms of their stuff and things. Cool, we are producing laser-based technology here, which is okay-ish. Uh, we get destroyer assembly yards, whatever. It's not the greatest thing in the world. So um, considering we're using lasers, aurelium ore is quite good. Actually, we're going to go for, uh, well, I could have gone for Teldar as well. Uh, we'll leave this as is. Uh, Aurelium will be fine here. I will have plasma soon anyway, which means that we need to get our hands on some crystals that boost our energy weapon output because we're going to go straight for the magnificence that is uh, uh, that. Anyway, why are you not building a thing here? There we go. Frontier outpost being built. We just spent a bunch of influence on that. I'm just a bit curious on where our colony ship is. It is over here. Okay. Colonizing Dacus 3. Okay, so it's going to go up there. All right, cool. So uh, we've, we've passed the dating stage. I'm going to go straight for it. We're going to go in. Balls deep. May remember to wear a rubber. Anyway. Yeah, that seems to be all fine. Let's take a look at our uh, stuff on the ground. System this needs to be complete. atmospheric readings. No, do not match. It's 10%. totally doable. Uh, engineering will be fine. Uh, we're nice and balanced in technology as well. Very happy about that. Forgeworth, Antioch, and Arcadia are doing just fine. Energy is a bit of a problem. I just noticed we'll need to do something about that. Do we have... Any untapped energy anywhere? No, I don't see anything. That is a potential problem. 
Hmm. Uh, let's, before we go and do our Ascension perks, let me quickly... Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay, so we need to build a solar panel network here just so we can get three additional energy with that. We can build a spaceport upgrade, which we will do at our capital. And we get another Ascension perk, and we've basically picked both Discovery as well as Supremacy. Supremacy for the border range and Discovery for the research building costs. But we're going to go down the Discovery line, uh, mainly because of the magnificence that is the Planetary Survey Corps. Uh, basically, whenever we're surveying anything, surveying anything, we will get a third of our research income uh, with that, which is pretty damn amazing. We'll go down the administrative path because it will allow us to build a planetary capital, which will increase a whole bunch of stuff and uh, hopefully get a little bit of additional influence out of it as well. Okay, this construction ship is just fine. We'll be able to move this one in here. I kind of do want to recapture this. This thing over here, it's a plus 9, which is quite significant. Even though we're a plus 70, 36 years into the game, we're really plowing ahead in our energy, in our research. 36 years into the game, we got 37 physics. Physics is generally pretty difficult to get by or to come by. Um, so that is something that we need to keep our eyes on. A military fleet is not something that I am too happy with at the moment. So we'll slap a bunch more destroyers on there. How much do they cost, actually, in upkeep? Uh, destroyers are two hull size, so we'll be able to add a bunch more. And yes, we will definitely go ahead and procure these alien species. You're the old way up there. So, let's go and uh, we can investigate Tau aliens. So, let's go and... I wish there was a track everything here. So, let's track all of these individually. Uh, I should have access to all of this territory, so I should be able to track it quite easily. Where is this sign ship? It's up there. This one's up there. And this one is... Where? Where is this one? Okay, it's all the way in here. So what I'm going to do is... I can't do any of the research projects here, which is a bit annoying. So what I'll do is I'll keep setting this to automatically research... And these guys can go and do all the research projects in here and start finding all these um, these alien species that are floating around on all these places. A new empire contacted. That is nice. So we'll queue all of this up. It's going to take some time to do. Totally worth it, though. So that's something uh, to keep in the back of our heads. Currently at 4 to 5, we're colonizing one world, so that will be maxed out quite nicely. Uh, energy is still an issue because we are colonizing, but it was to be expected. Let's go and have you mine here and have you mine here. and We'll be able to get all those resources. And I think, yep, this now also falls within our Imperium. So we're going to go and uh, get all these mining stations up and running. And a bunch more uh, engineering research as well, which is great. Uh, we are slightly behind on the society. We may need to put a little bit of more effort into getting some society research going. But overall, I'm feeling pretty solid about our current situation. Plasma throwers, nice. Cool. Uh, 35 months for uh, cold fusion or planetary shields. I've never really used planetary shields. I feel it uses a slot that I kind of need. But it also means that we can go to our ship designers and max out all of our stuff, which is exactly what we want. Improved deflectors, fusion reactors on everything. We'll do the same thing for our destroyers. Why plasma, you ask? Well, it's because plasma, in fact, is awesome, and we want to use it as much as we can. What are these guys using? First battle group. They are using missiles. If we ever go to war with these guys, we want to have some point defense, which we do have access to a, a little bit. But because I am a cool dude, I am going to build uh, a couple of ships specifically designed to take out their stuff, which is exactly what we want. So that's a... Can I get anything else here? Any, any? No, okay. Uh, PD destroyer, uh, which will be sitting on the front lines and basically blapping anything that comes close. 
uh, in terms of uh, shooting it. We got a election. Uh, we have enough resources to do stuff with it, but I'm not particularly keen on it because it's influence. And even though we are at plus three right now, we do need it. Urantic crystals. Absolutely. If we go plasma, Urantic crystals are amazing because they will allow us to do a lot of additional damage to anybody nearby. What do we got here? Uh, imperialists, and they've got our rival with an unidentified empire. Let's bribe them a little bit, shall we? For 30 years, let's give them um, eh, three minerals. There we go. We could guarantee independence, but it will cost us way too much influence. Can we get a research agreement? I doubt we will. Yeah, I was afraid of that, so we'll leave that as it is. And then let's have a chat with these guys. We already have a research agreement with them, which is great. Looks like one of our scientists has died. Do we have any scientists that does particle physics? No, we do not. Um, let's get military theory because we don't have a lot of military theory at the moment. We can just uh, swap researchers around when we need to. Is it Swirling Shadows? It looks like Swirling Shadows. Swirl oh, Shadow Play. Sh swirling Shadows. Basically the same thing. So that allows us to do a lot of additional society research very shortly. So that's going to boost it up to 28, which is pretty damn solid. What do you want? Uh, that's a defense pact with these guys. They like us a lot now. Their Federation Association status. Uh, this is a free anomaly, which we're totally going to do. Uh, we are. Oh, these guys do not like us at all because we are rivaled with them. Okay, these guys like us a lot because we're in no association status with them and we are friendly. We got a research agreement with, I believe, uh, which is great. Uh, a good thing about procuring alien species, we get a lot of society engineering for it, which is exactly what we want. The Pathfinder has popped out of existence somewhere, though. These guys closed the border to us. No, they did not. Okay. Interesting. So this ship has popped out of existence. Old Explorer, located in a remote part of Ambar 2, the science team of the ISS Arbiter has found an out-of-place metallic tablet. Interesting. We got survey data on a distant region, uh, which was the Maw. So we get uh, survey data on this here. A black hole. Look at that uh, event horizon, the big black sphere of which there is no point of return. Of course, you'll die way before you get into it, but that's just... A general question. I'm really tempted to send a sign ship down this pipe to see if there's anything interesting down in here. Uh, what is also probably interesting to look at is whether or not there is any systems that we currently cannot access. If there is, that means that there is the capital of an old uh, empire there. That's how you generally can spot these things. Uh, let's take a look here. Are there any systems that we, uh, that we know of but have no entry point? I do not see anything. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, there is a void cloud in there. Our fleet is starting to look stronger. Uh, we can easily upkeep that, so let's keep on building destroyers so that, just so that we can be nice and strong. These guys are now inferior to us? Are we so far ahead on the technology tree? My god. Yeah, it does look like we are pretty damn far ahead on the technology tree, which is pretty great. Uh, these guys, they are terrible. But their fleet power is pretty good. So techno technologically, uh, we are basically sharing technology with everybody around. And I did not see this before. It's a bunch of uh, Aurelium Ore here that we also need to tap. Cool. All right. Production targets and planetary capital. Planetary capital is great because it... it increases the amount of unity that will be generated locally. In the meantime, we could go down the biological path for a little bit. Not really keen on it. Uh, I kind of want to go for the military academy because it's cheap, or we can go for deep crust engineering. Just getting the tile blocker technologies out of the way. We do not need to go... I don't feel we need to go for any of the master of nature perks because the amount of uh, stuff around is not really a problem in terms of tile blocker, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. Alright, let's uh, upgrade this building, and let's get some additional unity from this. It's pretty expensive, but totally worth it, because of the bonuses that we'll get from unity, as well as adjacency bonuses. You, sir, are going to be a society lab. Excellent, so we get some more stuff. 
This fourth world will need to do quite a lot of stuff with energy, I just noticed. So we'll put a Akaton Memorial in here, put a bunch of energy around the uh, base of the, uh, the reassembled ship shelter so we can get adjacency bonuses here. The Memorial, obviously, is just for the... Um, uh, the unity bonus that we can get out of it, and we can just plop a droid on here as soon as possible as well, just to get the minerals out of the way. So a bunch of decent minerals here. I'm pretty happy with this planet. It's super big. Um, Construction complete. So yeah, uh, it is. It is definitely looking pretty strong. Getting 77 uh, minerals a turn, which is awesome. So uh, we're looking overall very, very, very good. Construction complete. Okay, more minerals. We've tapped everything in this system, so that's a plus nine. Uh, we can't attack the ruby stack just yet, which is a bit of a shame. Percent. We'll be able to get a lot of, uh, we'll be able to get crystalline inf uh, infused plating out of that. It's not forge. Forge is obviously better, but uh, for the moment, that's how it is. Lethargic gas, 20% bonus to shields, if we can get it, is pretty damn awesome. Percent. Let's take a look here. Aurelium and uh, some other stuff. So there is the Arantic crystals. Uh, it looks like we don't have access to any of those, which is a real shame. I really wanted to get some Uranti crystals, but it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing for now. Uh, if we want to go habitats, we need to go defense stations, because that will allow us to do deep space construction. Uh, in combination with battleships, allows us to get uh, ha the Voidborn perk, which is kind of nice. A free thing? A free anomaly? I will take it. Excellent. Okay, these are all built. This construction ship is doing just fine. It looks like we've pretty much tapped everything that we can, except for the society, which we desperately need. And uh, aside from that, we are looking exceptionally strong. We could just close the border to these guys and be like, yo, what's up? Yeah, uh, you ain't getting anywhere. You're pretty much stuck. I'm, again, like I said last episode, I'm super impressed by the fact they've managed to generate so many planets in such a small amount of space. Uh, playing, they're pretty much forced to play tall, but yeah. Still, impressive to say the least. Cool. Alright, the Pathfinder. Uh, Rock Brain. Uh, let's make it so. It's pretty far away. Research complete. Rock Migraine, we get a bunch of energy for it, which is great as a bunch of physics uh, energy we needed anyway. So core systems sec uh, core sector systems plus one is nice. But let's go for the tile blockers first. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, I am aware that those technologies are a bit annoying to get uh, without the uh, mastery of nature perk um, because it does take up time. But considering we're far ahead of the pack, I think we should be okay-ish. Of course, the amount of resources that we need to pump in to actually remove them as well. So. Anyway, let's build some more destroyers. Uh, five should be enough in order to uh, to do that. Is it it's, let's take a look here. Is it going to be cheaper to build a destroyer assembly yard? So that will reduce cost by 25. The destroyer right now is what? 200. So uh, that is 120. So it will cost 300. Uh, yeah, okay, so 120. So it will cost 180 per destroyer, three destroyers. So that's 360, 400, uh, 400 something. Ah, yeah, fuck it, I'll just do it because in the long term it'll be cheaper anyway. Cool. We've tapped every single mineral and energy pile on our worlds, which means that we can now take some time to start upgrading our energy and mineral production on our worlds. This world is looking amazing. Uh, it is natural beauty, uh, and it has a lot of minerals on it, which I am very happy about. But right now, I am far more interested in getting uh, a lot more energy going. Uh, let's get an Akata Memorial on this. Uh, energy being produced here. Uh, we're just going to turn this into our energy production world. I think that'll be fine. Minerals is not something that we have to worry about. And energy is going to be a problem uh, with all the robots we got floating about. Uh, this robot, it does... It's fine for just uh, food production, so we'll just use that. You've just moved here, so you're happy. 
That's good. Let's clear this tile. It's 100-100. Uh, we have easily have the resources for it, so it's not really an issue. Excellent. Most excellent. Arrested development. Hmm. Construction complete. You should not be doing this. You should definitely not be going out there and surveying that system. You're going to die otherwise, and I will not have time to remove you. Uh, how strong is this? 600. We can upgrade our fleet for 400, which is worth it. We can slap an admiral on that as well. Let's put aggressive on there for an additional 8% firepower. Good. That increases by 100. Lethargic gas increases shield hit points. We've got a lot of lethargic gas, actually, which is great. Plasma accelerator second tier is 36 months, or we can go for planetary uh, fortification toughness by 20 and shield. So let's go for the shields one. And as soon as this fleet is upgraded, we will send it out to take out these, um, these small stacks of uh, void clouds that are floating around. System Habitability plus 5, uh, 28 months, or naval capacity anomaly plus 10. Found. A free anomaly, I will have it. Uh, lifeless planet, what kind of world is this? Is this an icy world? Upgraded. No, it's a barren world, so nothing really interesting. There's really no planets in here uh, that I could see. There's a couple of reds, which is not particularly great, but yeah. Let's take a look at our uh, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times two hundred and fifty is a lot of resources. So we get about what, like, uh, like fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred uh, society research points for this, which is pretty good. And on top of that, uh, there should be a bonus because we have uh, the re increased. Because of the base here, we got stored research, which increases the uh, research progress by quite a lot. So we right now we have uh, 68 a month extra, which is great. And uh, monthly gain is plus 28 as well. So silicone life form. So we get a plus three on that planet. Like I said, not that we need it, but you get the general idea here. Okay, let's go and uh, take down this void cloud. Let's hope that we're not going to run in too many problems there. As soon as we undock our fleet instantly, everybody's like, Oh my god, the economy, it's collapsing! Well, I guess that's a thing. Let's get a mineral pile here. We'll build a robot on top of that to get a couple more minerals. Yeah, I'm aware that energy is a bit of a problem right now, but it's not something I'm too worried about. Hey, you guys, you want to you wanna trade some minerals for some energy? Maybe? No, you're not interested into it at all. Because of your erudite personality. These guys do not want to talk to us at all. Uh, this is our void cloud that's being engaged. How about you guys? You guys want to trade some minerals for energy? Ooh, they are interested in that. Uh, for 30 years. 12 for 30 years. We can probably even get less out of this. Uh, 11 for 12. That's a great deal. Okay, we lost two Corvettes. Is there anything we can research in here? Yes, we can. Let's get all the research projects going. Survey this and then put them to automatic. Let's send the fleet home. Uh, Empire Capital Complex. Yes, 33 months. Eh. Mm, it's cheap, though, comparatively to the other ones. We don't really need Orbital Hydroponics Base because we're at plus 7. And plus 1 Civic Slot. Really? Oh my god. Oh my god! We can get an additional civic? That's friggin' hot! So we can get a third civic. Let's do it. Alright, I will wrap up this episode. We're gonna go and uh, wrap this one up here. And, uh, I feel we got a lot of stuff done. We're trading minerals, we're for energy, we got a new colony. We killed some alien scum. I'm, I'm very happy with the current situation. Uh, we're doing a lot of good stuff. We've got alien species procurement. We're developing our, uh, our economy quite nicely. Balancing it out, especially with all these robots we got roaming around. Energy is going to be a serious problem. The mechanists are doing fine. We're going to uplift ourselves to the perfect immortal machines that we want to be. Plus 10 energy. Yeah, that's going to help us out quite a lot. 
So we should be maxed out here. Let's build a spaceport. And uh, that will wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, until next time, take good care of yourselves and uh, each other.